Hello and welcome to Lazada Insider, featuring knowledge that makes a difference. We share trusted insights, forward-looking perspectives, and exclusive expert interviews to keep you ahead of the curve. Hi, I'm your host Katrina, and welcome to Lazada Insider. Don't forget to follow this channel for exclusive insights every week. Live streaming e-commerce has experienced an upsurge in Southeast Asia, and for a good reason. It is a good combination of entertainment, product demonstration, and influencer advertising. Is your business ready to catch on to the potential of live stream to sell more? And how to do successful live stream to drive sales? Today, we are very excited to be joined by expert guest and a very good colleague of mine, Hai Pan from Lazada, to delve into this topic. Hai Pan is the regional manager of Lazada brand team, focusing on IP live streaming and the Lazada Super Show. She has over 10 years of experience in brand marketing and media planning. Hi, Hai Pan. Welcome, and it's great to have you on Lazada Insider. Hi, Katrina, and hi to the audience out there. I feel so excited to join this session and share my live streaming experience with all of you. Brilliant. Before we talk about live stream, I'd love to know more about what your position entails as the regional manager in Lazada brand team. I'm with the regional branding content team and is part of the regional marketing team. So our team oversees two major types of content at Lazada. The first type is PGC live streaming. It stands for professionally generated content. So it refers to those high quality live streaming shows created by Lazada and broadcasted through our official accounts. And the second type is Lazada gala shows. So these are the super shows, the grand shows that happen on the eve of sales day or on the sales day itself. So within the show, there's singing performance, dancing performance, talk shows related to shopping, and we engage highly influential celebrities to perform in the show as well. I have to admit, I'm also a big fan of all the live stream shows that you guys put out there. And it's not a secret that live stream in online commerce has gained a lot of traction in Southeast Asia, especially in recent couple of years. So in your opinion, why it has become so popular and why businesses should tap into this opportunity? Okay, so the popularity of live streaming in Southeast Asia is primarily driven by three reasons. The first reason is that the live streaming content format itself is very entertaining because it's very, very true to reality and also enable real-time engagement between the audience and the host. Audience always find it very fun to watch a live streaming show versus a pre-recorded show. Because in a pre-recorded show, it's pretty much one-week communication from the host to the audience. But in a live streaming show, especially on online channels, there's actually real-time engagement happening between the host and the audience. And also audience could be part of the show as well. And the second reason is actually the COVID-19 pandemic. Because of the pandemic, a lot of us are actually trapped at, at home and we cannot go out. So we turn into digital content to look for inspiration and look for entertaining content. And live streaming is also a great way to entertain the audience as well. So people go on live streaming shows to find out um, those interesting contents and to find out the look for inspirations for their life and to look at what other people are doing in their life and also to simply just look for shopping inspiration or learn life hacks as well. And the third reason is I think is because of the huge success created by super host Li Jiaqi and Wei Ya from Taobao China. So um, news has been going on about Wei Ya and Li Jiaqi because they create sales wonders within their live streaming room. It could be billions of sales within one live streaming session just in one hour of time. So this actually has inspired shopping apps or websites in Southeast Asia to learn from the success case from Li Jiaqi and Wei Ya and to create live streaming shows that could actually replicate their success as well. Uh, the question that you asked is also um, why, is become, why it is uh, important for business to tap into this um, live streaming opportunity. Uh, 
Um, I guess um, it's really because live streaming provides a very captive environment for hosts to closely engage with a large number of audience at the same time. And in real time, so just imagine that you are selling your product to 10,000 audience live and we're with their attention fully focused on you and the product you sell. And more importantly, the audience could communicate and engage with you when you are selling your product. So this is actually a very, very good opportunity for brand to closely engage with the audience and then to bring their business value to the audience as well. Yeah, that certainly brings a lot of clarity and rationale behind the popularity of live stream. So if a business or a brand is seeking to jump onto the e-commerce live stream bandwagon, what would you say are the key factors for running a successful live stream for online commerce? So there are four key factors that we must think carefully before doing a live streaming show to ensure its success. So the first one is content angle. Second one is show mechanism. The third one is SKU, which is the present products in the live streaming room. And the fourth one, and most importantly, is the host. So we'll start from the first one, the content angle. So the show itself must be very fun to watch and fun to share among the audience. And a well-conceptualized show content, it could be easily trigger audience interest and to lock their eyeballs in the live streaming room and result in a high number of viewership and audience engagement rate as well. So the content angle itself, it must be carefully think, uh, thought of before the starting of a live streaming show. The second key factor is the show mechanism. So there are all different kinds of show mechanism out there. There could be a game show to win prize or a talk show, which is um, focusing on the hot and trendy topic nowadays, or it just could be a variety show involving singing and dancing performance, or it could be a straightforward shopping show with just one host talking to the audience. So designing a show mechanism is like building the queue of a ship. It is the key factor to determine whether the ship can sail fast or not. So finding the suitable show mechanism for your live streaming show is very, very important. And the third part is SKU, which is the products that you want to sell to audience in your live streaming shows. So when talking about e-commerce live streaming, it's all about the shopper payments. So shop, shopping comes first and entertainment comes second. So without a good products in the live streaming room, the show itself will just be a pure entertainment piece without much um, business value added. So it is very crucial for us to choose a good SKU and also importantly with a good deal as well to sell to the audience and then ensure that the show can generate good sales for the products. And the fourth part is the host. So host is the soul of the live streaming session. <laughs> Content angle, show mechanism, and the presented SKUs, they are all presented from one person's mouth, and that is the host. So yeah. without the host, the live streaming all comes to nothing. So a good live streaming host, not necessarily to be a very, very popular celebrity who just wins an Oscar or who have millions, millions of followings on Instagram, a good host for live streaming must have very good industry knowledge and able to present very well in front of the audience. And he or she must be able to engage with the audience in real time and quickly react to audience feedback to the show. So I guess one of the examples that we can think of is, um, again, I will bring out Li Jiaqi and Wei Ya. So imagine if their show continues, but the host is not Li Jiaqi and Wei Ya. Will the show be very successful? So the host is the most crucial part to build a successful live streaming show. Yeah. Excellent sharing. And what you just shared about mechanism really caught my attention. Tell us a bit more about it. Are there any best practices you could share with us? Yes, um, I guess one of the examples that I could share is Guess It Show. So Guess It is a lot of the content IP, which we start building from 2019. It is actually a game show with very straightforward, simple, but fun mechanism. 
which is guess the price of the SKU. And before the guessing starts, clues will be given to audience in various kinds of ways. The audience could watch the clue in a short video format and guess the price of the product, or it could be given by the host in a singing kind of way, or it could be the host drawing something on the paper and then show to the audience and audience guess the price from there. And uh, from the after the clue is being given and the guessing will count down and then um, audience will need to key in the price for the SKU presented and the fastest finger with the correct answer will win a shopping voucher. So um, the reason that is very successful with high viewership as well as high engagement rate is because the show mechanism itself offers a very exciting and fast paced way to engage with the audience to be part of the show. And also it offers the brand itself a very good way to present their products to the audience. And the host have a lot of room play as well because based on audience feedback or their comments, the host can actually react to it and looking at the winner board of the show and then give back their give their feedback and then make the show more engaging and more fun. Yeah, great. I think that's very good example. It's a very good combination of entertainment, shopping, a little competition there, very engaging. And that's, you know, certainly a lot of takeaways and inspirations uh, for business of uh, what you shared just now. Um, let's take a step further. Based on your experience, what are usually the key challenges businesses face when they live stream for e-commerce? And do you have any advices on how to fix them? I think being a marketer, sometimes um, we might be too focused in driving live streaming shows and then promoting the shows. We forget that we are consumers ourselves as well. So I would say it's very important to put ourselves into consumers' shoes and always think as a consumer from the four perspective, which is content angle, show mechanism, SKU, and host. So for example, is the content angle of the live streaming shows that I want to start. Is, is it interesting enough? Is it exciting enough to attract the, me myself to click into the live streaming room and watch the show? And from the mechanism itself, is the mechanism that I've designed for the show engaging enough for myself to stay throughout to, to, towards the end of the show and watch? And third, is the SKU that I'm planning to sell in the live streaming room is it relevant for myself? If I was, if I'm a consumer and I watch this show and watch this SKU, I want to buy it immediately in the live streaming room because the product and the deal is just too good to be missed. And lastly, is the host that I select for the live streaming show. Is he or she charming and presentable enough and engaging enough that I will want to follow this person to all the shows that she has presented and then to watch all her shows as well. So I think in summary, it's always before planning for the show or even during planning of the show, always think as a consumer and think just as a common consumer who know not about live streaming. And then look back at the show planning perspective, see if all these factors are interesting enough for me to watch the show and then watch till the end. So always put ourselves into consumers' shoes. Brilliant. And what you shared, um, just that list of questions, certainly is going to be very, very helpful uh, in the process of live stream planning. Now let's shift gear a little bit and look into the future. In your view, what does the future look like for live stream in e-commerce? I feel the future is definitely booming. And I'm saying this not because I'm doing live streaming, but also <laughs> because um, based on my understanding of the business and also like understanding of the landscape, it is growing very fast and it will definitely become a new way of everyday shopping for e-commerce. And it's also an important part of the shoppertainment ecosystem because live streaming um, from a video consumption perspective, is very entertaining comparing to pre-recorded show. It offers audience a different 
video consumption and different um, viewing experience is more true to reality and it's really more fun and engaging. So not only e-commerce, but other channels like YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, they have their live section as well and they're building that. And also in terms of um, the current situation, which is COVID-19 <laughs> is still going on. So we're gonna be trapped at our home for I guess a couple of more months or it could be stretched to a year. And this period gave a very good time for live streaming to grow, grow further and grow faster as well. Yeah, very interesting. And live stream is certainly a topic we can discuss passionately for hours. But this is already very informative and fascinating sharing. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you very much, Haipan. Thank you, Katrina. This is Lizad Insider. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you click follow and subscribe so you don't miss our latest insights and expert interviews. Thanks again for joining us. Until next time, take care. Oh.